Welcome, everybody. I'm Brian Lee Durfee, author of The Forgetting Moon, The Blackest Heart, The Lonesome Crown, all published by Simon & Schuster Saga Press. Today I'm going to be reviewing Gallows View by Peter Robinson. If you've been following my reviews, you know that one of my guilty pleasures is mystery novels set in the English countryside. And one of my favorite writers that does this type of novel is Peter Robertson. His Inspector Banks series, his Inspector Alan Banks series. We're now up to about 27 novels in this series, and I'm going to be rereading all of them. We start with Gallows View. That's the very first one he wrote in the late 1980s. He's been writing them ever since up until now. 27 or some odd, we're into it now. So The Gallows View is the first book in the Inspector Banks series. You just need to know. These are some bloody gruesome books. They are not your light, masterpiece theater, happy, go lucky, cozy, English murder mysteries. They're not like that at all. These are very, very dark, very bloody very r rated so let's just get that out of the way right away that's why i love them you know there are some series that i read up that i collect you know that are a little pg but there are also some of these writers that are doing these english mysteries that like ian rankin peter robertson robinson uh elizabeth george um there's just a bunch that i follow they, they pull no punches they're bloody gruesome, you know. Inspector Banks, Gallows View, the very first novel in the Inspector Banks series, starts out. Well, they're set up in York, England, or the Yorkish, the York countryside, northern England. I've been to York, by the way, so I can easily picture the little villages and things that are around York. So it's, uh, so you know, I, I've got the setting down, at least in my own head. Um, he sets these murder mysteries in the made-up village of Eastvale. And, uh, you know, Inspector Banks is a... Uh, pre he previously worked in London as a police officer, and now he's moved out to this countryside to become an inspector. And this is his first sort of case, where uh starts off... Just a peeping Tom thing. Like I said, these these books are they're R rated. And especially Gallows View, the first one is full of a lot of sexual content. Start off with a peeping Tom who's peeping through windows throughout the village. Um, a murder or two happens. Our inspector, Mr. Banks, starts to investigate. And we get to we're introduced to Inspector Banks' family, his children, who uh, play different, you know, in the 27 uh, you know, novels that come later, his children play different roles in each novel, and we get to watch as his children grow into adulthood throughout the series. We get to watch as Inspector Banks goes through different relationships himself throughout the series. So it's kind of like akin to... Michael Connolly's Harry Bosch series in that we follow Harry Bosch throughout his life as an L.A. police inspector. Well, we follow um, Inspector Banks here throughout his life as a police inspector for you know, 27 years and continuing on. And it's kind of cool because I think it's great to just read these books, read these mysteries. They're standalone. You don't have to start with the beginning. However, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you want to start at the, at the start and read them one at a time and, and see how this character grows and all of the characters grow in the, in the series and all the murder mysteries that they solve. Gallows View. Peeping Tom. Murders start happening. Bloody gruesome. Oh, just make you cringe kind of murders, you know? Make you be like, ooh, you make your skin, your skin crawls. I, like I said, the rated R is dialed up pretty high in these books. So, I mean, you gotta have a, you gotta have a, a stomach, you know, for this. And I love them. I love them. Uh, I, I'm just gonna make these reviews short because I, 
you know, there's 27 books and I'm rereading them all and I'm probably going to end up reviewing each one as I go. I don't want to take too much time with them. You know, I just want to get people jazzed about uh, stuff. Stuff that I like. One of the things that I like are these British mysteries. And Alan Banks, Inspector Alan Banks, Peter Robinson's first Alan Banks mystery, Gallows View. It gets a solid 8 out of 10 for me. Very engrossing, very bloody, very violent murder mystery i mean it explains itself there's murders going on and the guy's investigating and there's a lot of characters in the town that you get to know and we get to follow them throughout the rest of the 27 books so if you want to start this series go get gallows view and uh, if you don't like it you don't have to carry on if you do like it there's 27 more awesome books to go so gallows view people check it out